temporal arteritis, also known as giant cell arteritis, is the most common form of vascular inflammation. Most commonly occurs among women, especially elderly over the age of 50. Classical picture. Older woman comes to clinic with throbbing headache, pulsating sensation. If you palpate temporal area, you will feel tender, firm nodules. It is nodularity to the temporal artery. If the ophthalmic arteries are involved, woman complains about visual problems, including visual loss. If the facial arteries involved, it causes facial pain. Decreased pulses may be found throughout the body. Brutes may be heard over the subclavian and axillary arteries. The disease can affect aortic arch and its branches. It can lead to aortic dissection. But fortunately this presentation is rare. But commonly, the disease affects intracranial arteries. Exact etiology of the disease is not known. But the it has autoimmune basis. Genetics has biggest associations, especially with Tolec receptor 4 gene polymorphism. Smoking and several infections also have some associations with giant cell arteritis. This infectious agents include mycoplasma, varicella zoster virus, and herpes virus. Diagnosis, biopsy and histopathology is the gold standard for the diagnosis of giant cell arteritis, microscopically giant cells infiltrating the tissue. That's why it is called giant cell arteritis. Treatment. Corticosteroids, typically high-dose prednisone, should be started as soon as the diagnosis is suspected, even before the diagnosis is confirmed by biopsy, to prevent irreversible blindness secondary to ophthalmic artery occlusion. The dose of corticosteroids is generally slowly tapered over 12 to 18 months.